year, the North American International Auto Show is the first major event on the car industry calendar. All the major car makers descend on Detroit. Detroit is totally on vogue again. It's really vital as we're very successful in the U.S. It kickstarts the year for the auto industry. It has a really high status because at the fair, we see what the competition is doing. Mercedes is making a big splash here. Selected industry fairgoers from around the world are being treated to a sneak preview of the new CLA class. The CLA is based on the platform of the new A-Class, so the wheelbase is the same. But this sporty and dynamic four-door coupe is treading new territory, too. Mercedes-Benz is presenting the revamped E-Class in four body configurations. The coupe, the convertible, sedan, and station wagon. The E63 AMG is especially sporty. The five new E-Class models here are paving the way for Mercedes' 2020 growth strategy, explains Daimler's R&D head. Volkswagen also set out to impress, previewing a new SUV generation called the Cross Blue. It's been specifically designed with the North American market in mind. A third row of seats means up to seven people can sit comfortably in the five meter long cross blue. VW is here because America needs new mobility, says CEO Martin Winterkorn. VW wants to offer customers an individual kind of mobility. Lexus is breaking new ground, too. The Japanese company celebrates the world premiere of the new IS, with which it's hoping to win important market shares. The distinctive radiator grill is the new hallmark of all new Lexus models, in a move to boost brand identity. From the side, you recognize the rear seats are set way back. The short tail is dominated by wide taillights. The role of the IS is to uh, attract more more and more younger buyers because the Lexus uh, customers are uh, getting older and older year by year. So we are now uh, rejuvenated the brand image of Lexus itself, more attractive brand for the younger people. BMW is showcasing the Z4. The M version of the 6 Series Grand Coupe and the new I models. But there's more. Detroit also saw the global debut of the 4 Series Coupe concept. BMW executive Herbert D says it's a very sporty vehicle with a distinctive presence. He predicts it'll be one of this year's big hits. The Series 4 Coupe is an evolutionary step on from the 3 Series sedan but as such, an all-new creation. It's almost seven centimeters flatter than the three series and longer and wider too. An extravaganza of magic and dance presents a suitable backdrop for the world premiere of the new Audi RS7. This model aims to appeal to Americans interested in powerful engines. That said, US speed limits mean the powerful 412 kilowatt engine can't be used to its full potential. It's a model designed to impress. But will that be enough to prevail on the American market? The American market is a strategic one for Audi, says CEO Rupert Stadler. The car maker already became the number one luxury marquee in China and Europe. In the US, he's confident Audi has one up on the competition. One sports car that's always been a hit on the American market is the Porsche. The German specialist is presenting the powerful Cayenne Turbo S for the first time. With a 405 kilowatt engine, it's the most powerful production SUV in the world. Porsche managed to reduce the weight by 140 kilos, explains CEO Matthias Müller. That also meant cutting fuel consumption and CO2 emissions by 25%. 
In his eyes, it elevates the overall Cayenne range. Chevrolet are keen to promote engine power. The seventh edition of the iconic Corvette has an output of 335 kilowatts and also proudly bears the legendary badge Stingray. <laughs>